Fright Night 1985, I think it was. Watch this on the TV, seen the 2011. Is that it? I don't got dates in my head. I really don't. And uh, here are my thoughts. First, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So overall, I love the 1980s visual effects. Like good old classic practical ass effects. We got all these video gaming movies nowadays because they're making everything on computers. And now we're going to get AI doing it. I'm just like, ugh. People are going to be talking about the good old days. I think nostalgia is going to build for older films when people get sick and tired of AI. Because I know AI, you know, Gen Alpha or whatever the hell, they're going to like it. But everybody else is not. So, love practical effects. The main character is a very entertaining guy. Um, I don't remember any of the actors' names. But he was all panicky. He sees the neighbors a vampire. And I like that the vampire was like John Stamos from Full House. Like his demeanor, his look even. Like he just came across like that guy. And I love the familiar in his house too. His his partner in crime was very just creepy and, and intimidating. Very tall. Always looking down at the kid. And just the perfect right hand man. Uh, I didn't like the character of Evil. The character of Evil is very annoying. One, what the hell is that nickname? Evil? He's like psychotic. And I'm like, who would be friends with this guy? This guy's obnoxious. He's annoying. Uh, I like the guy's girlfriend that she slammed the food in his face because he keeps ignoring her. I, I thought she played a good dynamic in the movie. And then they went to the old vampire hunter for the TV shows. I think he's a wizard in the remake or something like that. A magician like Chris Angel. But that guy was a great character. You're like, all right, he's a fraud, but we're going to make him into the real version that he should be. I wonder if this is the first movie that inspired that trope that I've seen probably a few times now. Where someone plays something on TV, and then the fanatic finds out they're not who they really are, and they like want to encourage him to be that for real. But, yeah, very entertaining movie. I loved, I love classic old, like, vampire lore.